Today we're going to check out how to make mockups with ease with the help of generative fill here in Photoshop. I got to roll with this image as a reference and as you can see we got a more difficult situation because we have a t-shirt with wrinkles and you can see on the text on these wrinkles and it's a little bit more difficult to remove but with the new generative fill you can clean it up pretty good so I'm going to select the lasso tool, select the text, go all the way around and all you need to do is go to the generative fill, click on and click on generate and check that out it disappeared you also can switch up the wrinkles here we got a couple of variations i'm gonna go with the first one and i also gonna go to the adjustment layers and select the black and white we're gonna create a displacement from here go to file save as and make sure to save it as a photoshop file rename it as displacement click on save i gotta go and delete the black and white and now I'm going to add some text, select the type tool and I'm going to go with the Coco font, increase the text size, there you go and I'm going to go and warp it with arch. I'm going to go with a little bit wider, click OK and I'm going to drag and drop from Illustrator this new mascot I just created. This is a new Panther mascot, I'm going to double click release, I'm going to go to the text, create another copy, I'm going to press the letter T and select the warp i'm gonna go with minus 25 click ok and i'm gonna go and rename it all right i think it's good press and hold shift select all the logo elements right click convert to smart object and i'm gonna go and place it somewhere here i'm gonna need to go again to multiply there you go and from here i'm gonna go to filter distort displays click ok and i'm gonna displace it with 15 by 15 click OK, select the displacement, double click and it's going to start displacing it. You also can displace it even more by double click here in the corner at the displacement and click again. And I'm going to go with 23 by 23, click OK, double click displace. It starts to do its magic. And now we're going to double click on the layer. I'm going to press and hold Alt, click on this handle so it's going to break it in two. So if I pull this here, you can see it's going to add shadings and lights and more contrast so it's gonna make it more realistic looking click ok and this is how you make this mock-up with the new generative feel here in photoshop thanks for watching